Okay, so suppose we were writing down the prime numbers. Okay. And we got to some some number n, and that n would have to be fairly large. Yeah. Right? Yep. Um, and we said that's it. There are no more primes after that. So so we wrote down two, three, five. Can we keep going for this? Seven, eleven, thirteen, and seventeen, nineteen, um, twenty-three, twenty-nine, thirty-one, and we could seven. We could stop. Yeah. Okay. So we go to there. Mm -hmm. Um, and we just say, look, we've that's it. There's no more primes. Maybe we, maybe we claim there's no more primes above 37, mm -hmm. or maybe, you know, maybe we're at 100 digits long or something like that. We claim mm -hmm. there's no more primes above that. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to use our formula from before. Mm -hmm. The greatest common divisor of the Fibonacci number indexed with the primes, I'll call it prime n. Oh, I already used n. I better be careful. So I use the index as prime x and Fibonacci prime y. So remember, we had 2, 3, 5, 7. So the indexes are going to be prime numbers. All right. Okay. So this should be the Fibonacci number of the greatest common divisor. Of px and py? Of px and py. But wouldn't that always be 1? Right. Right. So that means this okay. has to equal 1, 2. Yeah, so the Fibonacci number of the greatest common divisor of two primes is, is 1. Yep. All right. Which is 1. So the Fibonacci number of the prime numbers, sorry, the greatest common divisor of the Fibonacci number of Fibonacci prime number x and Fibonacci prime number y, they have to have no common divisors. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is that going to say about, about each one of these Fibonacci primes? Fibonacci 2, Fibonacci 3, Fibonacci uh, 5, Fibonacci 7. What can we say about these numbers? Well, none of them have any factors in common. None of them have any factors in common. Except right? for 1. Right. Except for 1. So and what does it say in relation to prime numbers? Well... Isn't, um, these primes are going to be different, and... Okay, yeah. so they have to have all, they all have to have different primes, yeah. good. But there, we know that there are infinitely many Fibonacci numbers. Right. Because you can just keep adding two numbers to get the next one. Okay, so they all have to have different primes. Do they themselves have to be prime numbers? Not necessarily. No. Not necessarily. So, mm. Okay. So, now here's where the proof gets a little bit tricky. All we have to do to show that there are an infinite number of primes is to show that eventually there are more primes in this list. Going up to PN? Yeah. When, when I factor these, because you said they don't necessarily have to be primes, so we have to factor. So eventually I have to show there's some number n where there are more primes in this list than there are in this list. Hmm, well, Why would that give me the fact that there's an infinite amount well, of primes? Well, because then that would, it's this infinite like rise. You can it would say just be, it would be larger than this number, then you'd just be, you could do this again and find a larger one. Okay. Yeah. Infinite. Okay, so I assumed that these were all the primes here. So, but and then I found more down here. Hmm. Okay. So, so you're right, I can just go back and forth now. Now I say, okay, well, wait a minute, the primes I found down here now are the whole list and whatever whatever I, I go up to. Yeah. So and then, then I go to those Fibonacci numbers and as long as there's more and, and, primes. Yeah. And there's infinitely many Fibonacci numbers, so will be more and more primes. Okay. Now, how is it going to happen that there are more primes in this list I mean, when I do all the factoring? Either what's going to happen is you're going to just... Because I have the same number, by the way. I have n 
Fibonacci numbers mm -hmm. here and n primes. I mean, either you're just going to have a new prime somewhere in here. Okay. Or you could have a number that's a multiple of a new prime. What do you mean by that? So like, like how, um, like... Actually, we're, we're at five minutes. Let's, let's go to the next one.